Our first comedian tonight, please welcome John Hawley. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you for having me. Uh, recently, I was out. I was out at a bar, and I saw an older man flirting with an older woman. And I could tell that they weren't married, they weren't dating, they had just met each other that night. And that brought a question to my head: Do old people booty call each other at like 7:30 p.m. on a Friday <laughs> night? Is that like the old people horny witching hour? Like. 7.30 to 8.30, they gotta get it in before nine or the pills start to kick in. <laughs> like us young guys, we'll stay up all night to get some. I know all you young girls in this room, you guys all have a Steve in your life. Steve, he's the guy you knew six months ago, but he likes to text you every Friday at 2 a.m. Hey, Melissa, what are you doing tonight? Not you, Steve, this isn't gonna happen. <laughs> I imagine an old man does that, but he just does it earlier in the night. He's a widower, his name's Ed, he's retired. He goes out to the bar, he's wasted, he's ready to get some at 7.59. And then he remembers Evelyn, that flapper they met last week at Bingo. Picks up his jitterbug phone, gives her a jingle. Hey, Evelyn, it's me, Harold, or Ed, whatever old man name I gave him earlier in the joke, whatever it was, didn't matter. It's me, Harold, yeah, I know if you wanted to come over, I can come pick you up. Yeah, they're on a marathon of I Love Lucy tonight. Uh, as the young kids say, we can nick at night and chill tonight. I think old people use the same terminology we do, it just has a different meaning, like... When an old person ghosts another old person, that just means one of them died. Right? Not <laughs> <laughs> Got ghosted. It's awful. Uh, but I can't, I, I have to talk about my own horrible generation. Like, I want to know what it's like when young adults my age are going to become the elderly, like 70, 80 years old. We're going to have an entire generation of grandparents with skateboarding neck tattoos. Yikes. <laughs> Ugh. Like right now we have like World War II grandpa. Next we're gonna have kickflip grandpa. <laughs> it's gonna be like I was in the streets, Billy. Like, like I was on the field in Normandy. It's like I was doing ollies in a parking lot. Like that's, that's all I have. Uh, I'm getting older. I'm trying to do more intelligent things. Uh, I'm trying to get a little better with my finances and money, things like that. But I'm really bad with finances. Like, I thought a 401k was a strand of marijuana. That's what I thought, That's what I thought it was. I thought. My dad's like, John, you need to start investing $40 a paycheck into your 401k. Dad, you're going to be so proud of me. I've been investing $50 a paycheck since high school. Like, you're going to be so proud of your baby boy. You're never going to believe. Like G13, AK47, 401k, Roth IRA. Those are all strands of weed to me right there. <laughs> Did you hear about the new hybrid they're making? They're combining the 401k and the Roth IRA. It's supposed to be really good. It's supposed to look into that strand. It's really going well. You can get intelligent and uh, inf information from a lot of different sources. Um, if watching pornography has taught me anything, it taught me how to spell the word amateur. <laughs> Are you like me? You thought amateur was A-M-A-T-E-R. That, that is not how you spell amateur, that is not. It's A-M-A-T, uh, it auto-corrects me. <laughs> It, it auto-corrects me when I type it in. I'm just like, I, thank you, Piper Perry. You taught me many things. I'm so dumb, I didn't know how to spell BJ. Uh, before Pornhub, I'm so dumb, I didn't know how to spell ATM. For those of you that aren't laughing, I'm not going to explain what that is because I don't want to leave a bad taste in your mouth. That's my time, everybody. Thank you. That's John Holly, ladies and gentlemen.